Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at the hacking block. Now there's been a lot of debate, and there's been a lot of requests for this video, as well as some thoughts and opinions on hacking, and do I think it should be a permanent feature of this game. Now before we look at the block itself, let's have a look at this block next door, and we're all quite familiar with this. This is the programming block. The programming block for a long time now has had a variety of uses, and a lot of people have used it to send viruses to other ships as well, by attaching the block, plugging in a virus, you can mess with all sorts of things, turn thrusters off, turn lights, lock doors, but the introduction of the hacking block that's recently added to the workshop basically allows you to start overtaking enemy controlled blocks one by one. It has a bit of a random chance of hacking it or not hacking it, and it adds a whole new level, allowing players to have to get up close and try to steal information or plant these blocks on the ship. Another cool feature is very similar to the programming block, so if an infiltrator does manage to get inside, he can replace the existing programming block on the enemy ship with a hacking block and make it even harder. Now, for both sides of the perspective, you've got the ship owner and the ship owner the downside to this is that if he goes afk his ship can be hacked and overtaken but that could happen anyway without a hacking block the player could just simply cut hole through a window or a bit of a wall and start overtaking the cockpits one by one but in the other sort of perspective is if you're on the ship and then you've got to deal with a hacker you've got to quickly look around your ship you might even be forced to open the doors leave your airlock because you've got a hacking module attached to the whole of your ship and that will build a whole sort of new level of gameplay uh, the idea of the hacker as well when he comes to actually attack a ship remember he's got to get through the outer defenses of your ship he's simply not just going to float on through so that'll leave you open to friendlies trying to hack your ship placing these blocks on the sort of stealthy and then remote control turning them on when they're at a safe distance but still they've got to get through all the firepower and weapons that you'll have to defend your craft so it's just a really interesting sort of feature but let's go into some more of the traits of this now let's talk a little bit about how this hacking block works. We're currently aboard an enemy ship. You could also be on the outside if you manage to avoid all the turrets. And we've placed our hacking block on the side. And we've made sure it is aligned to us. So it transferred all the ownership of this hacking block to us. And if we start to scroll through this menu, you can see it's already started to hack through some of the blocks. It's turned this airtight door to me so I can start accessing this. And it's working through these blocks, failing, trying again, randomly accessing different things. So you can see it's accessed the gyroscope that's now in my control. So I can actually start messing with this ship, turning the gyroscopes on and off as well as speeding them up and down. It's also hacked into another gyroscope by the look of it there. Let's see if we've got any more hacking devices. And it has a, a sort of random effect. It, oh, we've got an oxygen generator as well. So it's quite crucial, but at the same time, you can't hack individual objects. So say for instance, I wanted to get through this door rather than grinding it down, I could place or have my hacker activate and try to open this door. It just simply doesn't work like that. It's doing it at a completely random value. What I would like to see maybe in the future is you could go to this menu and select the block you'd like to try to gain access and maybe have a percentage or a chance for accessing that door maybe different objects having different percentage easier to hack harder to hack but just future ideas out there and i'd really like to hear what you guys have to think about hacking in space engineers as well from this sort of standpoint is it something you'd like to see or is it just another feature that doesn't really need to be focused on and this is where there's much more to be done as well but since that block popped up it just got a lot of ideas flowing through my mind when i'm playing around with these blocks and testing these out they usually generate quite a lot of ideas and something that i don't see has been attempted too much is wireless sort of hacking maybe attaching through antennas or connecting them via remote control blocks and then remotely controlling that object to hack it would be quite interesting as well it'd be a little bit of a less of a risk factor but i don't know how a model would sort of implement that as well as maybe a warhead when it explodes on impact rather than exploding it starts to hack the blocks that it explodes into i don't know that could just be another interesting concept for hacking in the future of space engineers but anyway i've talked enough for today I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'd like to hear your comments on hacking for space engineers in the future. 